How about Kyo Ju Kim? She's won in the wind in Hawaii. Her tee shot at four. Well, and this is not a short par three. This is 190 yards, and she's going in there with some with a long club, and she's judging that pitch and roll. And Phoenix resident Sarah Schmelzel with his third at the second. Well, she plays a tremendous shot downwind, downhill. Very difficult to judge the speed, but she does that very nicely. After playing some of the best golf of her career, say Young Kim. Karen, she's got great history in the desert and in wind. Here's her second at seven. Well, and you can tell from this shot, she knew exactly where she needed to land that to judge the roll towards the hole, that being downwind. She knew it wasn't going to spin. Taps that in to go to 15 under. This is no tap in. Emily Pedersen from Denmark, 10 or third. Oh, and this is an area of her game that she's really improved this year. She's getting up and down 10% more often this year from last year. Yuka Sasso, 63 on Friday. And here's her second at the seventh. Well, I think we're all waiting for Yuka to, to bust out with a second win on the LPGA Tour after winning the U.S. Women's Open at Olympic Club. That would take Yuka to 14 under, playing with her, the veteran Arthur Muno at the 7. And this is the club that has been red hot for Arthur so far this week. Only 26 parts average over the course of the first two rounds. Second shot at the 8th for Hannah Green. Awkward. We'll see. 11. Now Lydia Ko. That's going to be a nice lead. This is the third bunker she's been in today. She has successfully gotten up and down twice. Good lie, slightly uphill lie, and a lot of green to work with. Low putt back into the wind. Paige, you could really see how much the wind took her first putt. It was that last three or four feet. Just that wind kept pushing and pushing. It's a good save there. Here's Yuka Sasso. And this is over at the 10th. Well, let's see how Lexi handles this third at the par 5 12th. She does have a lot of green she can use. Do it. How about this from Lexi Thompson? Right, this is a par attempt for Arthur Munoz from behind the 10th. We saw this play quite a bit yesterday using the pass on the fringe. Is that putter on fire or what? Mm, en Fuego, the Arizona State Sun Devil, back in familiar environs and playing great. Stays two off the lead. This 16th is going to be fun today. Frida Schinholt from Florida State. Yes, like Go Karen Stumples. 69 and a half the first two days. Here is Seganda, her third at 18. This for a third eagle. And that was well done. Wow. The shot was made a little bit easier because she was chipping back into a little slope and into the wind. I think she'll take that. That was uphill but downwind so always a little bit difficult to judge the speed no, I know. Carlota Seganda a tap in birdie and she ties the lead at 15 yeah, under a 66 down. for Carlota played at Arizona State like Arthur Munoz you have to give yourself a little break. Up one to 11. And Yuka Sasso. 
Not much left remaining for this approach shot into a short par four. Ah, not much left remaining for her birdie, and that would move her up the leaderboard. It is a... Lydia Ko with 11 straight pars to open her third round. This is at the 12th. It looked like she didn't buy into that one. That was uh, definitely not her best effort. Oh, Nelly Corda took it away from her late in Bradenton at the drive on. Here's Nelly, long eagle putt at 16. Can she exhale there from that length? It's just a little hit outside the exhale range, maybe, isn't it? Or now, Yoju Kim. Electing to take a wedge off the green, Karen. I think this is what we saw a bit yesterday, too. Um, if it's uphill, players will typically use a wedge or another club. If it's downhill, they might choose the putt. Start in 2024. Yuka, this is not a spot we've seen very many play from this week. Third at the par 5, 12. Maybe they should. Back into the wind, you see how much spin you can get on the ball. Down here. Well, Sarah Schmelzel. Dealing with left to right break and left to right wind. Yeah, I think she'll take that for distance. All right, Lexi. Second at 14. That's nice. That's good to see Lexi hit a chip there because we've seen her use a putter quite a bit over these these last couple of days and uh, shows that she's confident with, with the chipping it too. Par five on the back. This is the 18th and Celine Boutier, who won in the Phoenix area last year, the first of her four wins. Back to get to. Now, Lexi. For birdie. Yep. Oh, well done. And I mentioned it, this finishing stretch. The 14th is the third most difficult. The 15th is the most difficult. And the 17th, par three, the second most difficult. So three out of the last. Very, she's very good from the bunker. And she's got a little bit of room to use. It's quite flat back there where the, the flag is. So she can be aggressive. That'll be a birdie putt for Nelly to get to 14 under and shoot a second straight 68. I love everything about her game. And she's been around this game for a long time. She's been in every kind of scenario. A really massive gust just coming up right now. She's going to step back and reassess. Chipping dead back into this strong wind that, that right now feels like darn near a three club wind. Keeping it low underneath the wind. Did we mention she's pretty good? <laughs> Par four 16th driver for Lydia Ko. Good shot shape. We've seen Lydia has, in earlier coverage, had a lot of really hard right to left wind. Six iron. Good direction, depends on the distance. Again, that upslope makes it so difficult to chase the ball. That is not a green hit, but that is a good leave. Yuka Sasso in front of the green off the tee at 16. Pitch to this point. This for birdie. Much needed. Well, well that's, that's a really good bounce back. I'll say. When you consider the, the full putt at the previous option. Yeah, this is Yuka Sasso after that. What appears to be plugged lie in this bunker. Oh, and that is good <laughs> from that situation. I mean, Karen, think about this. Only three of 14 players have gotten up and down from that bunker. I get Second to this point is to tie the lead. She stayed patient. You said yeah. she had to. She'd been in the top 15 putts per round, top 20 in putts per green in regulation. 
We'll talk about being a mom, Caroline Masson, just her second event back as a player. The putter for Lydia Ko at the 18th for Eagle. You didn't bet against her, did you? Okay. No. She's just too solid. And her, her pace today has been pretty good in some challenging conditions. Just one bogey for Lydia today. She's going to be two off the lead at the moment. She was tied for the lead going into the final round in her last event. That was 